Hello everyone, I'm Chef Mike and today I have here this beautiful sea bass. So I gonna teach you how you can make sea bass risotto like a pro at home. So let's do it. And the first thing we have to start with is the fish stock for the risotto. So I will fillet the fish, the meat I keep in the fridge for later and the bones I use for the stock. There are more ways of filleting fish like a sea bass, but I like to do two cuts on the side. Then make a small hole next to the tail so I can put my finger in and then finish it with one long slice. I also clean the fillets from the belly bones and if there are any small bones left, I take them out with my fish tweezers. In the end, I cut the skin a little bit so the fish would not bend on the pan and let's make the stock. I mix all remaining fish parts in the pot with some vegetables, bay leaves and all spices. Cover it with water and let it to cook slowly. So the stock needs around one hour of the cooking. So in the meantime I'm gonna make my beetroot chips which I use later on as the garnish. So I slice one beetroot on the mandolin. Just make sure you make it nice and thin because otherwise they are difficult to make it crispy. I like to dry them a bit with a paper towel because less moisture inside means easier frying. And in the meantime you can clean your stock so if you see some foam on the top just take it out with the ladle. Now I can deep fry the beetroot around 140 degrees Celsius until they are nice and crispy. It will take around one minute. In the end, I just take them out on the paper towel, season them with the salt and they are ready for the plating. And now, let's start with the risotto. Before I start cooking, I have to prepare two things. Pick some peas and chop some shallots. Then I start with a little bit of oil. Sweat the shallots for one minute on medium heat. Add my risotto rice, sear it for around one more minute and then deglaze it with white wine. I season it with some coriander powder and when the wine is reduced I will add my fish stock. You can also season it with salt at this point and cook it until the rice is soft. I recommend you to keep adding the stock part by part as you need because you don't want to end up in the situation where you have too much liquid in the risotto but the rice is already soft. And in the meantime I can pan sear the fish. So I season the fillet with salt and pepper. And I start with skin side down on medium heat until I make nice crispy skin. And then you can flip it and finish the cooking for around 30 seconds on another side. At this time is my rice cooked enough, so I put a piece in, season it with fresh lemon zest and finish it with some butter. I am not using any cheese because there would be plenty of complaining comments from the Italians below the video, but if you want to put some cheese in, no one can hold you back. At the end, just check seasoning for the salt and risotto is ready to go. For the plating, I will use this cool looking plate from the sponsor of this video, Apollo Box. If you want to upgrade your plating plates, these guys have everything you would need. So check out their website and if you use coupon code M20, you will get $20 off on your order. Check out the link in the description below. And now, let's finish the dish. I start with few spoons of my sea bass risotto with the peas and lemon zest. Then beautiful sea bass fillet 
with crispy skin on the top, a few beetroot chips around, and finish it with fresh pea shoots. So what do you think guys? And what's your favorite risotto? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to get inspiration for another risotto, I recommend you to check out this video and learn my favorite risotto of all time, mushroom risotto. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.